to this new tutorial, we will be recreating this animated Rubik cube uh, with geometry nodes. I include a file that you can download with the 27 parts of the cube, so we don't lose time with that. And the file is clean, you can start uh, working with that. With the Blender version uh, 3.1, I leave the link on the description. Here we have a, a line that we divide into 27 uh, control points and we we will use this setup to give them an order that we can use to later uh, instance our parts in the order we want this is to this part is here is to create the cube and here we have a group that we just repeat it's the same content uh, where we can select the the axis that will rotate let me show you this is the first part here so the first axis that rotates it's the c axis and we say take the row two so these are, these are rows and rotate it three times here we have the time now has uh, some calculations inside so this will wait until the the rotations are done you can set up a pause time also so it will wait one until it starts rotating the second time so after this one ends it will wait one unit it's it's short but it makes that it doesn't start just as the other one stops and then rotates one two and three so you can you can uh, link as many as you want of these groups and each one will be a new rotation let me show you a bit inside this is what we have it looks like uh, a lot of nodes but it's mostly to create the controls at the end i will teach you if you want i will show you how to create this little uh, swinging animation here to make it a bit more interesting while it while it's forming so if you're interested let's get started Okay, when you open the file, you will find this already with the parts inside. Uh, we are using uh, 3.1 alpha. You can download it. The link is in the description. First, we will create the, the points where we are going to instance our parts. I want a specific order, so the parts will, will get uh, instanced on the places we want. So to do this, we will create a line curve. This is just to have uh, vertices to work with or control points. So I know I, I need 27 parts. So we are going to resample this curve. And this is a fixed number, so I don't want to expose it or anything. It's 27. So we can see what we are doing. Instance on points. We will bring our collection. The collection is parts. We have to separate the children's here. This is our points. We connect this. And at the moment, we have the 27 parts on the line that it's one meter tall, and it's divided in 27 parts. So this is how we start. We also have to click here, pick instance. So they will take the index number that we have here and will order the parts accordingly. And now we have to uh, change the position of these uh, points. So set position. This will replace the position if we use this input. If you use offset, it will move the, all, the position they all ha already have. So it will add to the position. This one will replace it. In, in our case, we will replace the positions because we don't care about the, the original positions they had. That's not, uh, it has no use for us. To make this, we will use the, the index and we will make changes to it. At this point, we can see in the viewer our 27 points and the, the index they have. And we will use this number to assign new positions. The cubes are one meter in size. So we will use units, one, two, three, as meters. We will use a combined XYZ to create new positions for each one on the different axis. And we will plug, plug this here. At this point, we replaced all the positions with zero, so they are all in the same place. 
for the C axis, the Z or C axis, we need we needed to change every nine units because um, we will have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then it will go up one. So I need to add one every nine pieces or every nine changes in the index. We will use math operation here, snap my values, my index values in increments of nine. And that means that the value will only change every nine. What we have now here, check here, we have an order index. And if we plug this, we get zero because it's not reaching nine yet. So no change, no change, no change. Then it reaches nine. So we have a change in value. We are almost there. We have zero nine eighteen. That will, if we put this here, you will see that we get too much height. Now we have nine parts on each of these points. What we need to do is just divide this by again nine. And now we get the number that we want. If we plug this, we see zero, one, and two. They are all in the same X and Y position. That's why we see nine parts here, nine parts here, and nine here. Now we, we have to take care of the other two axes. For the X axis, we need uh, a change every three of value. We have the first one increases, increases. Then it goes back to zero on X. It will have another one. Uh, value on y but for x it, it has to go back to zero then increases increases go back to zero increases increases go back to zero so every three we need we need to reset or go back to zero and we, we will make this with a modular operation this will do exactly uh, what i said like we, we plug this here and we say that to go back to zero every three changes in value so or every three of value now we have we have uh zero one two zero one two zero one two that's exactly what we wanted we plug this on x now we have the correct position for all pieces on x and we need to make the y and we make some room and why is a bit a mix of uh, of the two? We need to increase one every three, like we did here. But we also need a modulo because after it reaches uh, the nine pieces, it has to go back to zero because it goes up and it needs to be here on zero value y. This, this may be a bit complex if you don't understand the, the functions here, but uh, don't worry, it's just uh, to position the, the pieces where, where they need to be. So the first uh, thing would be, this, this changes every nine, but we need now changes every three. One, two, three, change. So we will use this, but we will change these values to three and three. And let's see what we have so far. We have the change every three, but we are reaching four and we don't want that. We want that four to go back to zero. So then let me show you. Okay, so we need that instead of going to four, going back to zero. So we are using a modulo at three. So this value that it's calculated already that we have here, now we add a modulo and instead of going to four it will go back to zero so we placed it here and now we have the order that we wanted if we go to the render view the pieces are correctly placed as i told you if you don't pick instance here you won't have the, the order you want or same if you don't separate the, the children so make sure you have that uh, Ticked. And this part, it's ready. 
we will focus on the animation on the second part. I hope you have liked this tutorial and see you in the next video.